cherish veterans. In times of war and in times of peace, the Canadians have always stepped forward to do their part for democracy. And on this virtual Remembrance Day, the residents of Fredericton, City Council are thinking of you. Thank you for your service to our nation and to our city. Hello, I'm Mayor Don Darling. This Remembrance Day, we can't come together, but I want to say thank you for your valor, for your sacrifice, and on Remembrance Day, we will not forget. I'm Constable Dwayne Squires of the St. John Police Force, and I hope this message finds you well at Ridgewood. I wish we could join you on this Remembrance Day. As we adapt to our new COVID-19 world, the St. John Police Force and all of its members send you this message to let you know your sacrifices will always be remembered. Thank you, unless we forget. Hello, I'm Dwayne Killenbeck, Fire Chief of the Fredericton Fire Department. On behalf of the men and women of the Fredericton Fire Department, I wish to thank our veterans for the contributions and sacrifice they made for the peace and security of Canada and the world. Over the years, veterans of, on all major conflicts around the world have served our community as Fredericton firefighters, including three of our members who were killed in World War I. On Remembrance Day, we recognize those who gave the ultimate sacrifice in service of our country. We will remember them. Thank you. Obviously, as the uh, Chief of Police for, the, for Fredericton, I'm very, very proud uh, to serve. And uh, on this November 11th, and I look to the veterans, I'm very thankful for the freedom that I have, the freedom to speak openly, the freedom to choose, the freedom to uh, oppose what I don't believe in, and the freedom to stand up for what I do believe in. And I look to all the veterans. Unfortunately, I do not know all the veterans who gave me that opportunity. I may not know them, but I certainly owe them, and I'm very thankful for that on this uh, November 11th. Hi, we're at Ridgewood Veterans Day. On this Remembrance Day, we'd like to thank the veterans for their sacrifice for our freedom. Thank you. Artillery Regimental Band. We would like to recognize those for their service and also remember those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. We will remember them, lest we forget. Thank you for your Thank you for our freedom. We remember you every day, especially on Remembrance Day. Thank you for your service. We miss visiting you. We can't wait to see you again. Love, we love you. you! Good morning, veterans from uh, Kennedy Cases Branch 58 on the President Harold DeFazio. And to my left is Brian Roberts, second vice president, past second vice president of New Brunswick Command, and the, the branch treasurer. We'd like to say good morning and thank you very much for your sacrifice and everything you've done for us over the years. Kennedy Cases Legion's there for every veteran, a veteran's a veteran. Good morning, Gene Stevens, St. John District Commander to the Royal Canadian Legion. On my right, Comrade Ian Potter, St. John Deputy District Commander. On my far left, Comrade Henry Dion, St. John District Sergeant at Arms. On my immediate left, Barbara Sweet, Ridgewood Visitation. Just dropping in to say how much we miss you today and to say thank you. For 23 years, the staff of Sobeys Rossi have been honored to serve our veterans here at our store with a luncheon. This year we are not able to do it, but we want all of our veterans, all of those that have served this country, men and women, thank you for your sacrifices, thank you for what you've done for us, and we will miss you. Today we are the Commandos Canada Motorcycle Club. We're here today uh, along with the uh, Greyman Southwood Motorcycle Club as well. Uh, we're here to pay our respect and to give our thanks to the, peop to the men and women that have served uh, the military uh, here uh, for the freedom of our country. 
and we want to thank us all for your services. Uh, we're a bunch of bike uh, enthusiasts and then uh, we're here to have a good time, Army, Navy, Air Force. Uh, and then uh, we want to thank you for your service, so lest we forget. My name is Carol Travers and I'm a recreation therapist here at the Veterans Health Unit. On behalf of the staff and the volunteers at the Veterans Health Unit, we'd like to take this opportunity to reflect on the courage and resilience that you have shown all through the times of war, conflict and peacekeeping, as well as our current military members that are at the ready should a call to action arise. You continue to show us these great qualities while we navigate our way through these unprecedented times in dealing with this COVID pandemic. Sadly, we are not able to gather as a community this Remembrance Day to show our support and gratitude like we've done in the past. So we want to show you, our veteran heroes, that we care and appreciate the sacrifices you have all made to make our world a better place. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We will remember. Although the global pandemic may have affected this year's Remembrance Day ceremonies, we observe this day with ultimate respect in our hearts for those who have left us never to return, and for those who returned but were forever changed. To the brave men and women veterans, we will not forget what you gave us, because what we value most in life today is what you put on the line. On behalf of the leadership, staff, physicians and volunteers at Horizon Health Network, thank you. We remember your heroic past, are grateful for the present and are optimistic for the future.